Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to RoboThought Zero to Hero series. C, C++ coding in Arduino Mega. All right, guys, we are on lesson number 35. And I'm going to show you what a if statement means in C, C++ coding, especially using Arduino, right? What is an if statement? So basically I'll, I'll try to explain how this if statement in C, C++ programming works and how to apply those if statements in your Arduino projects, especially in a robotics projects, if statements are very widely used. All right. So the if if with a function uh, open and close parenthesis statement is a conditional statement all right which is the basis for all types of programming language it's a very basic and the basis of any kind of programming language it can be you know c c plus plus python java any language you take the if statement is going to be used all right so the if the condition in the code is true then the next corresponding task the line of code or function is performed accordingly that is how it is being designed that is how it's designed to work all right it returns one value if the condition in a program is true only one value all right guys so it, then it further returns another value if the condition is false right so it, it goes in a loop so it means that if if statement checks for the condition and then executes a statement or a set of statements either a single line of code or multiple lines of code it can be it's, it's also called as a statement right and if the condition is false then it comes out of that particular if statement and if the condition is true then the function is automatically performed so it's basically it operates on the boolean stuffs as well like true or false if you do this this has to happen like that you know so here what is the condition so basically it includes the boolean expression right so that is what is called the true or false the boolean expression we can also use one or more operators the mathematical operators i i showed you what exactly it is in the previous lessons right and you you we can use those operators within the if parenthesis right that is how it works and I'll show you how how those uh, you know operators are so that you get a very very basic understanding of how that stuff works, right? So for example, say a exclamation if you use say exclamation mark equals to b. So what does this mean? So this this means a is not equal to b, right? So the exclamation mark is called not equal to b and say for example a is less than b so a is less than b if you use this symbol right and then if you say a is greater than b so this is greater than b as simple as that right now a if you use double equals to b that means a is equal to b right you need to use double equal 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 like that right and then a is less than or equal to b so this is basically a is less than or equal to b okay and then a is greater than or equals to b so these are some of the various comparison operators we can use within the if you know conditions right where a and b are basically variables now let's let me just show some write some basic code so that you guys can understand how the if conditions can be used so for example int a equals to say uh, any any kind of uh, value say 6 right and then a semicolon so this will basically the initialization of values to variables a and b right so now we need to declare int b equal two four semicolon and then let's get into the white setup say wide setup close the function and then with a curly bracket say serial dot begin begin at the rate of speed of 9600 baud rate end with a semicolon okay and the curly bracket is closed 
and then we will come to the void loop void loop close the function and then we need to open a curly bracket and after within the block of open and closed curly bracket we need to use the if condition right now if like this see the color changes if say a is greater than b okay now if a is greater than b now what you want the program to do in the loop so uh, basically we need to print uh, say serial dot print ln uh, a is greater than b then you need to print serial print dot ln and then you can print say in a in a double quote say a is uh, no a is let me just scroll this up so that you guys can see i hope you guys can see the screen right a is greater than greater than b with a double quote close the parenthesis and the semicolon let us not forget all right so this is how your serial print with a if condition a is greater than b now uh, let's let's use another condition now i would like to close this with a curly bracket all right and then probably yeah wide loop a is greater than b serial print a is greater than b all right and then let us set uh, another condition okay like this now if i think something wrong with this i think it should be okay maybe the indentation yeah if if say b is greater than a then what we need to print we need to print this in a curly bracket and what do we print we can print say serial dot print l n and you can say b is greater than a so this is how the logic works and end with a semicolon let us not forget okay and then we can close it and we can close it so obviously if we run this program the default output what ideally we should get is a is greater than b because that is how the integer values we have declared on the top right let's run this program and see if it works i hope it works and i haven't done any syntax mistakes and the indentation seems to be okay but let's try give a try let me compile the sketch oh there is a compilation error so what it could be expression before token so maybe i need to open another one like this let me just try compiling score there is some mistake wide loop serial dot begin wide setup seems to be okay serial dot begin 9600 wide loop once we get into the loop wide loop if a is greater than b and then we are trying to serial print yes a is greater than b semicolon right and then we are closing the bracket <coughs> and then maybe this indentation let's compile this again
all right done compiling so it's basically the indentation guys so it's it's you know sometimes if you keep staring at the screen you know you, you won't understand you you have to go through line by line but if you look at the error at the bottom carefully though it may not be an accurate error it doesn't pinpoint the exact line of the code where you, where you have done some mistake but it will show the bottom line you got logically sometimes things and some silly mistakes even a space say for example the indentation which i missed it out it doesn't run right now i need to come back and then compile it again it worked so guys it, it's basically troubleshooting tactics let me compile this again and uh, yeah there you go it works so let me upload the program all right it's uploading now let me run the terminal and it says a is greater than b a is greater than b boom it keeps running let me just share my serial monitor there you go can you see that guys so this is how your if statement works now the speed the way it runs because because of the bar rate right the 9600 we can also slow it down or we can also use a delay function which i showed you in the previous lesson so this is how it works guys so you got to combine all these programs what you learned from me in the previous lessons all those logics you can apply and we can start interacting with the external environment that means we can start connecting some sensors and motors and read the values and do some magic which i am going to cover in the later lessons all right guys that's it for today do give me a thumbs up and a like and i am going to be back soon very soon bye bye